what's up i'm gonna be showing off how to make a more cylindrical ship I want my ships to have a little bit more curve to them and i figured this was the best way to do it it was through these three pieces the tayo mid cap port top is the one you put on top of this middle piece the demos hole and you put this tayo side cap on the side of the demos hole and it makes the side look more cylindrical and if you wanted this to be bigger you would just this down Add another one. Add another one. What's nice about this piece, the Tayo mid cap, is that it flips on all four sides. So you can just move this down here and move this right here. And then you get perfectly cylindrical looking side. And I can go ahead and do this for the other side. These Tayo side caps also rotate left and right, which is nice. It'd be really nice if all of the structural parts you're able to flip in any direction, but you know, Bethesda and their limitations. So here's both sides. I'm going to extrude this a little more and play with it. And if you're wondering why I use the uh, Demos Hole A, it's because it's the only structural part that's sort of rectangular. I could use Habs, but that, that makes the game lag more. They're not perfectly rectangle like halves, but that's why I use these structural pieces on the side to get rid of these, these this curvature. And there's that. It's a it's a perfectly well not perfect. It definitely has a you know these curve in and go up and then curve in again. It's not perfect, but definitely is the best way to make a cylindrical looking ship. I, I'm gonna continue to see if I can uh, show you guys some more implementation of this. I didn't really like that, so I'm just going to make this all one, one height. Alright, I'm going to try to make this flyable now. Instead of using these Teo mid caps, you can also use cargo holds, or I mean more specifically this cargo hold, Galleon S202 cargo hold. It gives you 950 cargo, which is like I'm pretty sure one of the best cargos, and you can you can flip this around just like the the Tayo mid caps. So if you want more utilization of your space, I would recommend using these cargo holds. I'm gonna maybe put a few here. They are quite heavy though, so keep that in mind. This is 200 mass compared to the Tayo mid caps, which is 500 or 5 mass. Well, there is my little cylindrical looking ship. Kind of looks like a giant blown up balloon, but it works. I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cylindrical. I like it. Looks kind of like a cargo hauling kind of, kind of thing. Let's go ahead and check the interior. Probably not that great, but. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not a fan of the ladders, but I see a little bit of clipping from the whole parts I put here, but oh, I mean a, a little bit. I mean a, a lot of bit. A lot of bit. Might want to use different, different parts for that. I do have the uh, the mod that allows me to clip through stuff, so this, this does happen. But I mean, it's not that noticeable, right? Right? 
right? Not, not that, not that noticeable. But anyways, that was my video on making a more cylindrical ship. Thank you.